What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the big story for today is, once again, Invest 98L. We have the latest from the uh, from the Atlantic Hurricane Season. Sorry, the National Hurricane Center. What am I talking about? Atlantic Hurricane Season. This is the Atlantic Hurricane Season. Anyway, joke aside of the day. Um, we have Fiona. We have Gaston. We have several areas of interest right here. Uh, we have 98L, we have 99L, and we have this area of interest as a 60% chance development. We're going to go over uh, these areas of interest very quickly. Fiona is heading towards Bermuda, and we could be looking at a landfall in Canada as a historic st uh, storm right here, ladies and gentlemen. So there's something we'll have to keep an eye on, but we'll have to pay attention to it as the days go on. Let's go ahead and go from east to west, ladies and gentlemen. Showers and thunderstorms located near the west coast of Africa associated with a tropical wave that has emerged in the warm waters of the far eastern Atlantic. Environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive for some development, and a tropical depression could form by this weekend while the system moves slowly northward between Africa and the Cabo Verde Islands. Formation chance in the next 48 hours is now 60%. I believe it was 50% last video, now it's 60 We have this area, which is 99L. A broad area of low pressure sev located several hundred miles west-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Despite marginal environmental conditions, some development of the system is possible over the next several days while it moves slowly northwestward or, or northward. Uh, through the tropical Atlantic, 30% chance in the next five days, 20% in the next 48 hours. The main story, Invest 98L. Still a 90% chance development, ladies and gentlemen. Showers and thunderstorms continue in association with a tropical wave located over south e the southeastern Caribbean Sea. Although upper-level winds are currently not in ha uh, do doing well for development, the environmental is forecast to gradually become more favorable in a couple of days, and a tropical depression is, quote, likely to form in that time. The disturbance is forecast to move west-northwestward across the eastern Caribbean Sea during the next day or two and over the east central Caribbean Sea this weekend. Regardless, of development. Locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds will be likely for the Windward Islands, northern Venezuela, and the ABC Island chain today. These impacts are likely to spread to northeastern Colombia later this evening, 90% in the next five days, 70% in the next 70% 70, uh, 70 in the next two, 48 hours, excuse me. So really no change there, except the area of interest now encompasses parts of Jamaica right here. So we actually have a new graphic that we want to show you for today. We have the ocean heat content. I was talking a little bit about this earlier, but if we take a look at this, where this system is, this is where it is right here. The ocean heat content in the next couple of days explo uh, pretty much explodes where it's going to be going. I mean, it's, it doesn't necessarily explode, but where it's where the track is and where it's going to be moving, it's going to be moving through a lot better ocean heat content, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at values at over 125 in the central, trop uh, central Caribbean Sea, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at areas of over 200 uh, right here in the Western Caribbean Sea, as well as parts of the Gulf of Mexico, there is this eddy right there that has an insane ocean heat content. It's the same eddy, I believe, that's what ha happened with Hurricane I uh, Ida in 2021, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, it's going to be moving through an extremely a thick area of warm water that is 29 plus degrees Celsius or 84 plus degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, this season is far from over. 98L is going to impact the United States eventually, but before it does, it's either going to hit Cuba or the Yucatan Peninsula, or it's going to move through that strait because the model we are looking at right here are a little bit indecisive. We have the AEMI, the AVNI, and HMON, uh, HMON right here hitting the Yucatan Peninsula. We have the rest of the models, as well as the, including the H Wharf of this thing making landfall in western Cuba right there. So we're kind of looking at two directions we're looking at, uh, looking at right there. So that's what we're looking at right now. But right now is right now. The models have been kind of in that margin of error between western Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula. It's been kind of ebbing back and forth the, the last few days or so. Intensity models... Really not that much has changed, really. We do have models hitting major hurricane stats. The CTCIS, this thing is a Category 5 hurricane, which I'm going to say this right now. It's too early for that. This We're not looking at a Category 5 hurricane right now. I know this thing has been pretty hyped up, and I don't blame people. I would want to pay attention to this as well, but... To say that a Category 5 is going to be happening in this, it's way too early for that. Is a major hurricane on the table? Yes, absolutely it is. But is Category 5? Right now, it's just too early, guys. And the CTCI has this uh, this run. 
and I feel like people are kind of taking it at face value. So these mile runs, just take them with a grain of salt. Wait for this thing to develop, and then uh, we can make uh, we can make further conjectures from there. But what I do know is that we have mod oh we do have the model runs that are having this thing really ramping up in intensity in the Gulf of Mexico. And let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about right here. We're going to show you two runs of the GFS and one run of the European. The GFS model right here, you see this organizing, developing right there. It strengthens into a hurricane. It actually has it moving way west from Jamaica right here. And then it makes landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula. It does weaken it considerably, probably from Category 3 strength to Category 1. And then it moves into the Gulf, rapidly intensifies right here down to a 943 millibar system, approaches Louisiana, and makes landfall in south uh, central Louisiana. So we have seen a shift in the GFS in the, in the last few mile runs. They are having it around the Alabama Flo uh, area, Florida Peninsula. Now we're looking at more of a Louisiana shift right here according to the GFS. The European kind of disagrees with that. We'll show you that in just a second. But this thing moves out and kind of impacts the in inland of the United States right there. Something we'll have to keep an eye on. Let's go ahead and run the uh, 6C right there. You, as you can see, there's been a high amount of traffic this week uh, from this thing. So, yeah, this is going to be able to take a little more time than usual. So, yeah, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. As you can see with this, this thing starts organizing, developing, all that jazz. This thing continues to move through, starts strengthening into a hurricane, makes landfall here as either a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane, moves into the Gulf, starts rapidly intensifying again, this time down into a 934 millibar system. It slowly moves up through the Gulf and eventually makes landfall as a weaker storm. Now, unless there's like an eyeball replacement cycle or something like that, We'll have to pay attention as time continues to go on once this thing does enter the Gulf. But yeah, this thing has it weakening before landfall, which it, it certainly is possible, but that tr the trend over the last six years or so hasn't really shown that. So if it does end up a weakening before landfall, that's good news. But the trend over the last six years has been pretty ominous in the opposite direction. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you the European run. This is the latest 0Z run from the European. The European run is showing this thing actually uh, strengthening as a hurricane off the coast of Jamaica right there, and then making landfall in Cuba as either a Category 1 or I think either a high-end Cat 1. This is more Category 2 territory, and then it moves into the Gulf, starts intensifying a little bit more, down to a 947 system before it makes landfall in Florida as such right here, and then it moves through, kind of moves out to sea as a tropical storm, and then makes landfall in South Carolina and moves off right there. So that's going to kind of wrap up this video for you guys right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We hit 1,600 subscribers. You guys have been hitting that subscribe button like crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It helps me out. And the more people we get to inform about this, the better. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and stay safe.